So in the Destiny video, I talked about how I really dug the way the game didn't let you play it all at once, how it was structured in such a way that you weren't meant to binge on it and then trade it in at GameStop, but have a minimal investment over a long period of time. And the feedback I got from that was not super charitable to the idea. There were lots of comparisons to Farmville and the assertion that the game was somehow manipulative at a base level, and lots of insisting that I sounded like an idiot for saying that kind of thing could be enjoyable. And while the part about me sounding like an idiot may be true in general, I'm not sure I buy the idea that Animal Crossing or Destiny's grind is comparable to that of Farmville. I mean, I get that superficially they're similar. Animal Crossing, Destiny, and Farmville all limit user input by saying only so much can really be done at once. The difference, to me at least, has to do with how they frame those time-limiting mechanics. For comparison, let's look at a, another design concept altogether. I think we can agree that Skinner boxes are not exactly great, at least not as a focal point for gameplay. The approach of push button, get treat, repeat ad infinitum as a core gameplay routine is kinda... eh. It gives a constant positive feedback loop that feels really good in that primal, ooh, shiny things in progress kind of way, but it's also a really shallow structure to act as the basis for your game, and it leads to really repetitive play. Diablo is a pretty obvious example of this. Click on things and get loot so that you can get more powerful, so that you can click on more things and get better loot, rinse and repeat forever. But it's also pretty easy for any game with a reward structure to be framed as a Skinner box if you're being reductive enough. I mean, Skyrim functions more or less the same way, right? Kill things and get experience or items to get more big and strong to kill bigger things and get bigger items to get even bigger and stronger. Heck, even Minecraft is just chunking away at blocks, hoping the next one is a valuable block, or at least an opening to a cave that has valuable blocks, that will let you build things that'll make you better at chunking away at blocks. Again, if you're being reductive. But let's not be reductive. Skyrim offers the verisimilitude of being in Tamriel, with its radiant AI that generates emergent adventures and lots of books that tell way better stories than anything that actually happens in the game. And Minecraft offers you the opportunity to build caverns and fortresses and castles, and to excavate caves and explore distant continents. In both of those games, the Skinner box may give a sense of progression or structure or maintain the pace of play in some way, but that push-button, get-a-reward loop isn't the point of those games the way it is in Diablo. It's more fair to criticize Diablo for a Skinner box design than Minecraft and Skyrim, because even though those games have Skinner box structures that can be used in manipulative or gamificate ways, it's neither the focus nor the core of what those games try to do. And that's how I feel about Animal Crossing and Destiny's use of time-based mechanics in relation to Farmville. First, I think it's important to note that time-based mechanics get a bad rap because they're so closely equated to free-to-play games. The whole point of Farmville's scheduling system is to keep a high level of player engagement by having you get rewarded regularly, but at intervals just long enough apart that you're tempted to spend a few dollars to skip the wait period rather than, I don't know, wait another five hours for eggplants or whatever. Waiting for timers to reset is the core loop of the game, in the same way that Skinner boxes are the core loop of Diablo, and it's what opens them up to criticism here, a shallow series of mechanics that uses reward structures manipulatively. In Diablo's case, it's to create a constant sense of addictive positive feedback, and in Farmville's case, it's a monetization strategy aimed at making the play exactly painful enough that you'll pay or continue to play. In comparison, how do Animal Crossing and Destiny use their time-based mechanics? Well, they basically just make each day and each week have a new series of tasks. The goal isn't to keep you playing just slowly enough that you'll open up your wallet, but to encourage a very specific approach to the game, a methodical and periodic play that contrasts with binge and reward-focused play. Where Minecraft wraps its Skinner box and self-expression to become more than just click-thing-get-reward, Destiny wraps its time-based mechanics in cooperative multiplayer that feels great, and Animal Crossing wraps them in social simulations and a conflict between encroaching consumerism and rural serenity. Both transcend the Farmville crime of being about waiting for timers to elapse. Neither game is being abusive of your time, both games are simply structured in a way that facilitates a sort of long-form play. They ask players to check in once in a while to see what's going on, and that players not grind through the whole game in one sitting. And I struggle to see how that's manipulative or abusive or even really comparable to what free-to-play games are doing. Ultimately, we need to look at mechanics in context. Too often we look at design decisions apart from the rest of a game's systems and see them as flaws. Doom 3's flashlight, Alien Isolation's save system, The Walking Dead's quick time events, all are often maligned, but all make sense in the context of what their respective game is trying to do. Likewise, if you look at them in a vacuum, it's easy to see all timed interactions as equal. But play a week of Destiny, a week of Animal Crossing, and a week of Farmville, and it becomes apparent that that isn't the case. 
I think Little Inferno had a great metaphor for this. The things you wait for in Little Inferno have no point but to be burned, to continue the chain of waiting. You wait to burn things so that you can buy things, so that you can wait more and burn those things. Waiting and time-based mechanics aren't necessarily a problem unless they're a means to their own end.